Boils and ghouls to a fright at the opera. <laughs> Operatic scariers always make me cry my eyes out. <laughs> Yes, even I, the cold-blooded Crypt Keeper, have a soft spot after all. <laughs> yeah, and it's between your ears. What the? <laughs> yes, hi! Oh, no. It's none other than the black and blue ingenue of enchantment. The pantyhose of the opera. The peach of the orchestra pit. The old witch. Take a walk, sister. Hmm. Time to liven this place, huh? <laughs> so, what do you get when you cross a ghost with a chicken? You get off the stage. Wrong, Crypty. You get a peck of boo. <laughs> it's time for this screamer Donna to do her swan song. So, what do you get when you cross a witch with an igloo? I don't know. What? A cold spell. <laughs> That's a good one. So, back to today's terror tale. A whale of a fear jerker I call... The Weeping Woman. <laughs> said you could drive. I can, Camille. Nobody told me I was going to have to shift. Well, Mildred, I think it's safe to say that we are 100% officially lost. Great. What else could go wrong? It could rain. Yep. Looks like one of those torrential storms when zombies walk and creatures of the night come out! <laughs> Camille! If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, Camille. I've given up all that ghoul-chasing, demon-hunting stuff. Aw, oh, come on. Like they say, demons are ghoul's best friend. Maybe for you, but I've traded in my wooden stick. <laughs> For a teddy bear? <laughs> teddy bears. I'm collecting them. We've got rain, it's...
it's dark. And our car's dead. Don't say that. Cool. Raging storm, stranded car. All we need now is a spooky looking rundown Victorian hotel. Double groan! <laughs> Whoa, is this place great or what? I wonder if it's haunted. Don't start with me, Camille. Let's just get a room, go to sleep, and... <sighs> Get out of here first thing tomorrow. <gasps> Don't worry, Mildred. She won't bite. Most likely. Excuse me, ma'am? May we use the phone? I have to call my Aunt Felicity. She's expect. Wait. Let me guess. The phone lines are down. Of course. Why not? Next, the power is going to go off. Cool. Go dry up. I mean, dry off. And just leave this to me. Where are we going, Camille? And why do we have our sleeping bags? I've got us the best room in the house. The attic? Camille, I don't want to stay in the attic. Don't be a stick in the mud. I let Camille book our room at Spook Central. I ought to have my head examined. A lot. Ah! Oof! <sighs> Just the stairs. Weenie, like you weren't scared. Nah. <laughs> you know, supernatural specters exist in old places just like this. There's very compelling evidence. Stop! Want me to wake you if I see a ghost? No. <sighs> Just do me a favor. Leave the light on. <laughs> Thanks. Mrs. Bates from the inn gave me a call. Said your car was broke down. Thanks, but, uh, we don't need any help, really. Yes, we do, Mildred. 
Name is Emmett. No, we don't, Camille. I'm the town mechanic. Mildred, yes! Camille, no! <laughs> well, if you change your mind, my tow truck is run over there. Weenie? Well, uh, give me about an hour to take a look. A task and a task and a yellow bird skin. Wrote a letter to my love and I'm the way I broke See what we can find out about our weeping woman. No way! I've had enough of that spook stuff, especially after last night. I'm going window shopping. Great! Bring me back some shutters. You know something, York, my pal? Camille would really like this place. Hello? Anyone there? Get out of town! <laughs> Very nice! for my collection. <laughs> Who's there? to listen to this. I, I heard, I don't know, whimpering. It didn't sound like a teddy bear, did it? <laughs> Wait, I gotta tell ya! Okay, a ship sunk off the coast near the inn over a hundred years ago, so? The inn is built from the timbers of the ship that washed up on shore. And you think your weeping woman was a passenger on that ship? Now all we gotta do is figure out why she's crying. Well, too bad we're not sticking around to find out. Aw, oh, Mildred. Good news, girls. Car will be ready first thing in the morning. Ten more minutes, Mom. Camille! 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 
she's back! <gasps> Camille! Oh. Remember? I thought I'd never say this, but this is getting kind of scary. Look out! Whoa, she's mad. No kidding. She went gonzo when she saw it. They'd been separated since the ship went down, and that's why she was weeping. The mother here, and the little girl at the curio shop. <laughs> but what made you put it together? I, I had a feeling, but there was also the crying in the shop, and this. <laughs> You know, 
I'm glad you have that annoying sentimental streak. After tonight, I think I've had my fill of ghosts for a while. Camille! All right, all right, forever. Mildred, the only thing scarier than an inn full of ghosts is your driving. Boy, that's the last time I'll save you from certain death. Which reminds me, we've got to find a teddy bear to start your collection. I didn't mean that, Mildred. I was under stress. Mildred, look. My teddy. So? But didn't she? I mean, isn't that... Step on it, Mildred. You don't have to ask twice, Camille. Mildred and Camille never expected they'd get caught up in a spirited game of haunt and seek. After all, like their ghostess, they were just passing through. Even so, it was a beautiful fright when they reunited the little girl ghost with her long-lost trans parent. It even had Camille wailing. <laughs> I guess you could say, you weep. What you sow, I'm back! Oh no, as if Madman Butterfly wasn't enough. Now it's Doom Hilda the sequel. So, what do you call a nervous witch? A twitch! <laughs> I got a million of them. Oh well, as they say, it's not over till the Bat Lady shrieks. And now I really have something to cry about. <laughs>